Okay, here we are. We're about to uh, leave Seattle. There's Nick. Woo! There's Steve. Right now, all the gauges are working. And we'll get a little view of Seattle out here. start our trip. We have now left Lake Union and are headed to the Ballard Locks. Okay, here we are. We're in the Ballard Locks. We ended up with the big lock. So, uh, Just getting tied up, the last boat. We're rafted three deep. Okay, Steve, how are you liking that green wall? I love the green wall. So we've come down that much, and now we're going down. And coming out, there's a big boat behind us. We're just trying to stay down the wall and shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And who knows how far we drop, but we're probably 10 feet so far. Okay, we made it out of the locks. Little sketchy, but we made it. What's that? Little snow over there. And leaving the locks. And we're headed out to the uh, Puget, Puget Sound here. Got on the Puget Sound and halfway up some ribs with 50 caliber guns around a submarine redirected us. Okay we made it to Port Angeles. It got a little rough but here we are we fueled up at the gas dock here. It's a nice little harbor. Coming through this narrow entrance this is uh, the little whaler that gave us the problem during the day. We did have to work on getting that situated on the boat. Anyways, it's all good now, I think. And that's how she's looking. So we're going to spend the night in Port Angeles. Make a long run to Westport tomorrow, really early. On the first day, we didn't make Nia Bay, so we're leaving from Port Angeles and trying to go way down to Westport. Okay, here we are at 5 o'clock in the morning. And we're going to get going early today. We're going to try to make Westport, which is our big trip today. It's uh, sort of dark out here. Um, as you maybe can't see. <laughs> but we're hoping to get some morning light. Okay, so it's wonderful Saturday morning and uh, we're cruising at a uh, 10 knots here. Um, unfortunately, it's sort of rough out there. Um, we took a couple of swells over the bow. And uh, we're just going to put up to Nia Bay. It's supposed to get smoother, so we're hoping for the best here. Okay, we pulled off on this little tiny town to just top off with some diesel. Some guys are cleaning some fish here. Uh, the water's really, really shallow here, and we're going to go get some diesel. Rounded the tip and we're cruising down the coast towards Westport. There's Nick sleeping at the wheel. Okay, there's our ocean swell.
surf a little bit once in a while. bottom cockpit and once in a while we catch a little surf and surf along the swell. From the other side of the cockpit looking out uh, with the ocean swells we're doing a little over 20 miles an hour maybe 22 miles an hour at this point. These are our twin 700 horse caterpillars cruising along Nice little engine room with a little bit of space, but on the far side it's difficult to get around. This is the other part of the engine room, batteries, a generator, hot water heater. So after a 12 hour run day, we get there just before 5 and the darn fuel place is closed. That was a long day, but here we are at Westport. So we went out and got some fish and chips, tried to get a good night's sleep and woke up and it was rainy and sort of overcast, but we headed out towards Astoria. Here's the motley crew of the Patricia 2 on an early morning coffee run to get going to Astoria. Okay, we're leaving Westport, heading down to Astoria. Putting out the bar here. It's been nice. We're gonna go uh, out the bar. The bar looks pretty good right now. Oh, I can't see it. So, Steve and Nick here are looking out for lobster pots and crab pots. Um, we kept coming up out of the fog here and having to dodge them. Okay, this is the notorious Columbia Bar. up and slept at the fuel docks, fueled up in the morning. Here we are heading up the Columbia, leaving Astoria. Okay, so we just left Astoria. us navigate up the Columbia to make sure we stay in the shipping lane. Okay, so we're cruising down the Columbia here. Beautiful, beautiful area here. Lots of little outlets. journey was all the way out to the coast, down the coast, and then in the Columbia for a total of 350 miles. So here's the Patricia 2 parked at Jansen Bay in Portland where she'll stay for a year and we'll use it off and on. And I want to thank very much my crew of Steve and Nick for helping me get the boat all the way to Portland. It was quite a trip.